It's typhoon season, so let's take a moment to review some important terms used when discussing tropical systems in the Western Pacific. Now, unlike the Atlantic, there are multiple forecasting agencies that warn on these storms. So to keep things simple, we're going to use some of the general terms that each of these agencies do use. Now, one thing that's important to know is who are these agencies? Well, you do have Pagasa from the Philippines, JTWC from the United States, the Hong Kong Observatory from Hong Kong, and JMA, the Japan Meteorological Agency. Also, we also have the uh, countries of Korea, Vietnam, China, Taiwan, and even Russia warring on these storms. So what is a typhoon? Well, it's a tropical system with winds of 118 kilometers per hour or higher in the Western Pacific Ocean, west of the International Dateline. Winds of 62 to 118 kilometers per hour can be considered a tropical storm. And if you have a closed off circulation in the tropics less than 62 kilometers per hour, that is a tropical depression. Also, you may hear from time to time the term super typhoon. Multiple agencies actually use this term, but the definition of where it starts can be different from country to country. But the key thing you need to know is that a super typhoon is the strongest level of a typhoon and they are very dangerous. Another term you may hear from time to time is invest. An invest area or an investigative area is issued when you have an area of convection in the tropics that it's worth watching closely. This allows us to put a closer look on satellite imagery and run some specific high resolution models to help give us a better idea if this area is going to develop. So the Western Pacific is famously known for being the most active tropical basin in the world. It's important to know these terms and always be informed on what's going on by following our Westpac weather updates daily and making sure you tune in to your local official warning agencies. I'm meteorologist Robert Spena. Stay safe out there.